Vandeham Shri Guru The following is a class on the Bhagavad Gita as it is. Seventh chapter, text number two, given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, recorded on the 28th of April, 1974, in Hyderabad, India. Sri Rupam Chakra Jaya Radha Madhava Kunya Vihari Jaya Radha Madhava Kunya Vihari Shri Maharaj Hari 
Yesterday, I was speaking, I began from the seventh chapter of Bhagavad Gita, how to develop Krishna consciousness. This Krishna consciousness movement can be introduced to every living entity. There is a verse in Chaitanya Charitamrita. It is said that Nitya Siddha Krishna Bhakti. Nitya Siddha. Nitya Siddha means just like we eat. All living entities, they eat. There is no nothing new introduction when we eat or sleep or have sex life or when there is danger, we depend. These are Nitya Siddha, natural. Wherever there is a living entity, these four things are there. It doesn't matter whether he is human being or a small microbe. These things are there, nitya siddha. Similarly, Krishna bhakti, love of Krishna, that is also natural. It is not artificial. Nitya siddha Krishna bhakti. But somehow or other, by our association with this material nature, we have forgotten. 
we are not material nature. That is the first education of Krishna consciousness or spiritual knowledge. We are spiritual. And Krishna, the Supreme Personality of Godhead, He is also complete spirit. He is not material. Even the impersonalist, Sankaracharya, he has described about Narayana in his commentary on Bhagavad Gita. Narayana para of Bhaktyat, Narayana, the personality of Godhead, is not anything of this material world. Para of Bhaktyat, of under Sambhava. But from the Abhakta, this material world or the universe is created. Therefore, Narayan or Krishna, Krishna is the original Narayan. That is a big definition or understanding from the Vedic knowledge. That Krishna from Krishna, first expansion is Baladev. From Baladev, there is Sankarsan, Pradhumna, Anuruddha. In this way, expansion takes place. And from Sankarsan also, Narayan, Vaikuntha Narayan. And from Narayana, the Purushavatar, Vishnu. In this way, there is expansion. Ramadi Murti Sukala Niyamayana Tishthan. So, the Narayana or expansion of Narayana, Krishna or expansion of Krishna, they are not of this material world. Narayana Abha. Parastasmatu Bhava Anya. There is another spiritual world. Bhaktya Bhaktya Sanatana. Abhakta is material. And above this Abhakta, there is a Sanatana, eternal above. So, this Krishna consciousness movement, it is nothing of this material world. This Hare Krishna mantra, it is also not any vibration of this material world. There is a verse by Narottam Das Thakur, Golokera Prema Dhana Hari Nama Sankita. This Harinam Sankirtan is vibration from the spiritual world. Just like you receive some message, vibration of the material world from Europe, from America. So that is not Indian vibration, but American vibration or European vibration. Similarly, there is vibration in the spiritual world. Simply one has to catch. You must have that machine. So that machine is there within you. The heart is the machine where you can receive the spiritual message because within the heart there is Narayana. Ishara Sarva Bhutanam Riddhese, particularly it is mentioned, Riddhese. So because Narayana or Ishara is situated within the heart of everyone. There is no necessity of researching where is Narayana. The Shastra says it is within your heart. Therefore, the yogis, they practice yoga process, how to see Narayan within the heart. dhyana vasthita tad gatena manasa jang pasyanti Yogi. The yogic process is to see Narayana within the heart. Similarly, you can hear also Narayana by this transcendental vibration. He can be perceived because we have got senses, different senses. We can see and we can hear also because the Supreme Personality of Godhead is absolute true by any of your senses, either by seeing or by hearing. It is the same thing. Nama chinta mani Krishna chaitanya rasa vigra. Rasa vigra. Nama, this name, holy name of Krishna or holy name of Rama. They are rasa vigra, transcendental blissful form. That is also vigra means form. That form 
is understood through the ear and it goes to the heart. In this way we can perceive Narayana by chanting Hare Krishna Maha. It requires little practice as they are enunciated in the śāstras and directed by the spiritual mind. Then one can understand or one can see just like premanyana churita bhakti vilochanena santa sadaiva ridayesu viloka. The same thing, ridayesu. As it is stated in the Bhagavad Gita, ishara sarvabhutana ridyesu arjuna tishtati. Similarly, the same thing is stated there in the Vedic literature. Bhagavad Gita is also Vedic literature. Brahma Sangita. Premanyana Churita Bhakti Vilochanena Santa Sadaiva Ridaesu Vilokan. Say the same thing, Rida. So anyone can see God within his heart if he adopts the process, bona fide process. Narayan is within you. Therefore, great, great saintly person, they are sitting in a lonely place, alone. But he is not alone. He is with Narayana, Krishna. He is seeing always there. So he is not alone. We are always accompanied by the Supreme Personality of Godhead as Paramatma, Antajyami, within the heart. That is the Vedic statement that there are two birds sitting on the same tree. One bird is enjoying the fruit of the tree and the other bird is simply witnessing. So the two birds, Jivatma and Paramatma, are always associated. He is so kind. He is just looking forward when this Jivatma, who is illusioned, bewildered, captivated, by this material world, material enjoyment, when he'll come back again to me. Just like father and the son, the son who has gone out of home, the father is always looking forward when the son would come back at home and enjoy. Similarly, Krishna, the Supreme Father, is always looking forward when we shall go back to Him. Therefore, He comes personally. Yada yadahi dharmasa glani bhavati bharat tadatmanam sijamaham. The general opportunity for human being is to understand God or Krishna and go back to Him again. We have come from Him, but we are attracted by this material enjoyment, which is not very pleasurable. It is suffering. Just like here, without this fan, it was uncomfortable, excessive heat. So excessive heat, excessive cold, so many things, adhibhautik, adhyatik, adhidaivi, we are actually suffering always. This is the nature of this material world, sting and laws of the material world. And still we are trying to become happy by some adjustment. This is called struggle for existence. In this way we cannot be happy. Real happiness is there. Jadgatyana nivartante taddhāma paramangmama vitorāga bhayos sopa Manmaya Mamupasita Bhavo Ganatapasa Puta Madhavam Agata. These are the description in the Bhagavad Gita. Bita Raga Bhaya Krut. Bita Raga. Raga means attachment. So we are now attached to this material world. So by practice one becomes Bita Raga. No more attachment for the material world. That is possible. Bhakti Parishanu Bhava Virakti Anatrasya. If you develop your normal bhakti or devotional life, 
that Krishna Bhakti Nitya Siddha, Sadhya Kavala. It has to be awake. Then you become Vitarāga, Ayakrūdha. This material world is always fearful. Every living entity is fearful what will happen next. That are just like at the present moment. Every time, every always, we are fearful. Bhayang Ditya Abhinibhi Satasyat, as soon as we forget our constitutional position and Krishna, then an artificial way of fearfulness is created. So Bhitarāga Bhaya Krodha, Malmaya Mamupasita, but this bhaya can be overcome. And this attachment can be overcome when we become Krishna conscious. Manmaya mamupasita bahava jnana tapasa puta madhavam agata. Madhavam, my nature, the spiritual nature or the spiritual world, they came. How? This is the process. Vitaraga bhaya krodha manmaya mamupasita bahava. Not only one, two, but bahav, many. Bahava jnana tapasa puta. One has to be purified. That is called puta. Without being purified, you cannot enter into the spiritual world. Vita rāga bhāga. Jnana tapasa puta. Madhavam āga. So these are the statements of the Bhagavad Gita. There are many other statements. So this Krishna consciousness moment is meant for taking back all the suffering humanity, all living entities, back to home, back to God. This is the sum and substance of Krishna consciousness moment. So here Krishna says that I am explaining to you how that knowledge of going back to home, back to Godhead can be attained. That's what he is saying here. Jnanam te ahaṁ avijñāna. Jnanam means theoretical knowledge. That is called jnanam. And avijñāna means practical knowledge. Just like in the scientific department of colleges, there are, for understanding anything scientifically, there are two divisions. Practical and theoretical. Jnanam is theoretical. And vijñānaṁ means practical. Simply to know there is God. This is theoretical knowledge. But when actually you become connected with God to practice the acti godly activities, that is called vijñāna. So Krishna will explain in this chapter the knowledge of God both theoretically and practically. Jnanam tiham sabhijnanam bhakshami. I shall speak to you. Aseshata. Aseshata means vividly. Aseshata. Briefly, samanatva. And when it is said aseshata, that means elaborate. But jadgatya, if somehow or other you understand this knowledge, Jajgyatta, no iha, in this material world. Iha, iha means this material world. Bhuya, again, annaj, anything more. Gyata bamma vasishyati. No more, you require no more further knowledge to understand. That is the statement in the Vedas. Jasmin vigyate sarvamedam vigyatam bhavanti. If you simply understand Krishna, because Krishna is everything, so if you understand Krishna, automatically you understand what is this world, what is this earth, what is this water, what is this fire, this is material things. What is this air, what is this sky, what is this mind, what is this intelligence, where is this ego, and what is this soul. In this way, uh, you understand everything because these material elements, earth, water, fire, air, sky, 
and that will be explained in the next part. It is the expansion of Krishna's energy, as there are energies and the energetic. Just like the fire, the fire has got two energies. One energy is the heat and one energy is light. Just like in the morning, as soon as you see the light from your window, you can understand that there is sunrise. By the energy, light of the sun, you can understand there is now the sun on the sky. Heat also. When you are too much heated, even within the room, even if you do not see the sun, you can understand that this heat is due to the sun. Similarly, we have to understand the presence of the Supreme Personality of Godhead by perceiving the different energies. Parasya Shakti Vividaiva Siyat. At the present moment, we are trying to understand the energy of Krishna. We cannot see directly Krishna. But as soon as you see the energy or you perceive the energy, you can understand there is Krishna, there is God. That is called intelligence. This is called jnana. And when you are directly in connection with Krishna or directly in his service, that is called vijnana. Jnanam tehaṁ sabhijñānaṁ bhakṣāmi asaśyaśatā jajgatyā neha bhūya anna jñātabhaṁ abhasiśyatā. Now, why this jnana required? They are trying to understand God by the limited senses. How you can understand? We are defective in so many ways. First of all, we commit mistake, and we are illusioned. We try to cheat others, and our senses are imperfect. So how you can understand with your limited senses with so many defects, that is not possible. Therefore, you have to understand God from God Himself or from His representative. Therefore, Krishna says that mahiya sakta mana pratha yugam junyan mad asra. Mad asra. Directly under my direction or under the direction of my representative. You cannot understand Krishna if you remain under your personal interest. That everyone says that I shall understand this by my own dint of knowledge, by speculation. That is not possible. Krishna says that you have to understand. Here also it is the same thing says that jnanam tehaṁ sabhijñānaṁ bhokṣāmi ahaṁ. I shall speak to you. So this is the secret of success. If you want to understand God, what is God? Everyone, there are many philosophers, scientists, they are trying to understand God by research. But that research will not help you. You have to understand directly from God or from God's representative. That is the way. So in the Vedic literature it is said, Athapiti deva padam bujadam prasada leshanu grihita evahi janati tattam. Janati tattam. Te deva. My Lord, one who is able to receive a little favor from you, he can understand your tattam. Athapiti deva padam bujadam prasada leshanu grihita evahi janati tattam. Nachana ekopi chirang vichinna. Others who are simply speculating, they cannot understand you. Therefore, people are bewildered how God is person. But they cannot understand because they have not taken shelter of the Supreme Personality of Godhead, Krishna, or His representative. It is impossible for him. Nahaṁ prakāsa sarvasya yuvamāyā samāṁ. Krishna cannot be exposed to the non-devotees, nāṁ prakāsa sarvas, not anyone ordinary common man can understand. Therefore, we have to understand Krishna 
or the supreme personality of God is from Krishna, not from anyone who is simply speculating or wrongly interpreting Bhagavad Gita. They cannot understand. That is the way. Jnanam tiham sabhijnanam bhakshami asi sata jajgatyam neha bhuya anna jnata bhamma vasis. The Prabhupada Krishna consciousness movement is just to try to understand what is Krishna. That's all. What is Krishna? Because if you perfectly understand Krishna, then immediately you become liberated and you become eligible to be transferred to the spiritual world. No, that is stated. Dibbam. Janma karma me dibbam. If one can understand Krishna, why he appears, why he disappears, they are all transcendental, they are not ordinary, because we understand Krishna as a historical person. A person like me may be a very great personality with more power than me. Yes, that he is, but you do not know how much powerful he is, because he is God. He is powerful in full. There is no deficiency in his power. Vaisajyasa samagra sabhijyasa jasa sasya. He is powerful in complete, purnam, purnasya purnamadaya purnami vavasisya. Even though Krishna, from Krishna all his power is taken away, he still is purnam, he is still all power. So, janma karma me dibbam ju janati tattata. So we have to understand Krishna in truth, not superficial, in scientific, vijñānam, jñānam te haṁ vijñā, so vijñāna. Not foolishly, that I can interpret Krishna. Some rascal says that Krishna means black. Some rascal says Krishna means this. Krishna means divorce. As according to one's character, and angle of vision. But real meaning of Krishna is for a Brahma. Krishi Goba, Krishi Bhu Bhachaka Sabda, Nasta Nidmiti Bhacha, Tayo Raikam, Iti Krishna para Brahma Iti Avidhiyati. Krishna means para Brahma. Krishna means all action. So we have to take the understanding of great personality. Rama. Rama. Rama means para Brahma. Ramante jogina anante satyanande chidatman iti rama pade nasu para brahma iti avidhi. So, this Hare Krishna, Hare Ram means direct connection with the para brahma. Nama chintamani Krishna, Chaitanya rasabhigra, purna suddha nitta mukta, abhinnatya namana. These things have to be understood. That nama nami avinatyat identity. So when we chant Krishna, Hare, Rama, they are directly connected with the Supreme Personality of God. Even though we do not know how to chant, there are, according to Shastri, the injunction, there are ten kinds of offenses. When we have heard that offenses, then it is pure chanting of the Hare Krishna mantra. So even if we chant with offenses in the beginning, it cannot be free of offenses. Still, it will act. Just like you come near the fire, you can feel the warmth, direct touch. It becomes red hot. So we have to be in touch with the fire. Then gradually we become warmer, 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 and red hot. Red hot. That's like another example. Just you take a red iron rod and keep in touch with the fire. It becomes warm, warmer, warmest. Then gradually the iron rod becomes red hot. When it is red hot, then it is fire. You touch that iron rod, anywhere it will burn. The quality of fire is already acquired. Similarly, if you keep always in touch 
with Krishna. Smartabam satato vismartambam na jatu chit. Sarve vidhi nisida suri tayo reva kankar. To become advanced in Krishna consciousness, the first principle is smartabho satato vishnu. Always remember Vishnu or Krishna. That is the beginning to touch. Vishmartabho nadatu. Never forget. So this Hare Krishna Mahamantra, if you chant, there is no expenditure, but the profit is very, very great because you are touched in Krishna. And Krishna and Krishna's name, non-different, identical. Nama Chintamani Krishna, Chaitanya Rasavigra. Purna. It is not that. Parsya. Purna. Because the name is of the Purna. Purna sa Purna Mahadaya. Purna Mahi Babu This is the basic verse. So it is not very difficult. Simply try to be in touch with the vibration. Where is the wrong there? What is the loss there? If you chant just like this boy, you have seen the picture. They are taking it seriously. They are working in the field, Hare Krishna. They are working in the factory of incense factory, Hare Krishna. What is the wrong there? Why India is not taking this? If you work in your factory, if you chant Hare Krishna, there is a loss there. But you remain always in touch with Krishna. Smartabhu, Satatu, Vishnu, this formula is false. We shall talk so many nonsense things, but you are not designing to chant Hare Krishna. This is our fault. Otherwise, Krishna is so kind. Nama Rupe Krishna Avata. Krishna is now descended in his vibration form, Hare Krishna, this Kali Yuga. because we cannot do anything, therefore Krishna has become very easily available in the form of his holy name, Hare Krishna. Krishna is available. You can see Krishna, you can touch Krishna, you can talk with Krishna as you may advance in Krishna consciousness, that is possible. Then when gradually making progress means gradually you will be lover of Krishna. That is required. Maya sattva. As soon as you become lover, you become attached. That is required. Now at the present moment we are attached to so many things uh, because we have forgotten Krishna. Now gradually if you increase your attachment for Krishna, then you will forget all this material. That is liberation. That is liberation. Bondage means we are becoming more and more attracted to this material world. And on account of this attraction, we have to accept another body, material body. And as soon as we accept a material body, we become under the control of this material nature. Liberation means to be free from the control of the material nature. It is a great science. Try to understand. Therefore it is said, jñānāṅti haṁ sabhīgyāṁ. It is not sentiment. It is not a religious sentiment. It is a science. Krishna consciousness means to understand the science of Krishna. We are understanding so many subject matters scientifically, but we are neglecting one thing, how to understand Krishna scientifically. That science is described here. If you simply try to understand the science of Krishna, then all other sciences will be automatically understood. Just like if you understand what is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero, then you understand the whole mathematical science. Because the mathematics means that one, two, three, four, five, six, this way, that way, this way, that way. The only the figures are all the digits are the one, two, three, four. So therefore one has to learn one, two, three, four up to nine and zero. Similarly, if you understand Krishna, the indirectly and directly, everything is Krishna. That is the 
highest scientific understanding of everything. That is a fact. But Krishna is earth. Krishna is water. Krishna is air. Krishna is fire. Krishna is sky. Krishna is mind. Krishna is intelligence. Krishna is ego. And Krishna is soul. So this is required. Jnanam tiham sabhi jnanam. Then next verse Krishna says that Manusanam sahasi. Kaschi jatati siddhaya jatatam api siddhyanam kaschi maang bhitti tattva. The same thing tattva tattva. We have to understand. In the fourth chapter it is said that janma karma me dibbam ju janati tattva. The tattva tattva you can understand Krishna tattva tattva. There is another place Krishna says, Bhaktyamam Abhijanati Javan Jashyami Tattata. So our aim should be to understand Krishna Tattata in truth, not superficially, not by foolish commentary. If we simply try to follow what Krishna has said, what is the difficulty? There is no difficulty. But foolishly we interpret in a different way. And Maya takes away our knowledge. Maya avarita jnana. He is thinking that he is very learned scholar, but he is fool number, rascal number one. Therefore Krishna says, Maya avarita jnana. Namag duskita na mura prapadante narada. Krishna is speaking so many ways about himself without understanding Krishna in his own way. We are trying to understand Krishna in different ways. Therefore, Krishna says, Maya Abhita Jnana. Asuri Bhav, the atheistic class of men, they interpret in a different way because their knowledge has been taken by Maya. And why it is so? Because they are sinful. Duskritina, Murha, Narada. These things are there. You will find in Bhagavad Gita. It is not our manufactured word. Therefore, our proposal is. Try to understand Krishna. Try to understand Bhagavad Gita as it is. Do not misinterpret, do not be misled by the misinterpreters. Then your life will be successful. You will understand what is Krishna and you become Krishna conscious. Then taktadi hang punar janmanaiti mamaiti kanta. So in the Western world they are taking more and more seriously about this Krishna consciousness movement. So our only request is that in India also, at least those who are sympathetic with this movement, kindly try to understand Krishna scientifically and your life will be successful. Thank you very much. Yeah,